Right, welcome to Comic Club with me and Cody. So this is going to be the, the last Comic Club um, of this term. Cody's back legs aren't too good. Anyway, so I want to set the scene for this week's task because it's a bigger task really than the other ones. The other ones have been one little picture. You had the joke last week, some of them were great. And weeks before you've had design a badge, uh, design your superhero and things like that. This one is to create a comic strip. My favourite comic strips as I was growing up um, were in comics like The Beano. Uh, for example, The Beano was probably the first comic that I read and I loved lots of the characters in it. Actually, lots of the characters that are, were in The Beano then are in The Beano now. Dennis the Menace being one. So, but Dennis the Menace was a very different character when I was, when I was little. Dennis the Menace was a, a bit of a bully instead of just a, a trickster that he is now uh, but um, I'm glad that that's changed because he's no longer a bully. Other uh, comics that I liked as I grew up one was called 2000 AD and 2000 AD I still get. 2000 AD actually grew with the audience so started off as a comic for young people so all of the old 2000 ADs that you might get throughout uh, you know if you were to look um, up some old ones on the internet are for younger people so lots of the the books that I have of Judge Dredd stories and things that I have in the in the classroom um, are of the old 2000 AD which was designed for young people. Now Judge Dredd's a really strange character because Judge Dredd is what's called, uh, he's, he's set, in the set in the future in a city called Mega City 1 and uh, he's, a, he's a judge so what he does is he acts as a policeman but he also acts as a judge and a jury. So if uh, he finds someone's guilty, he can um, sentence them straight away. So if you're caught chewing chewing gum in the school, for example, it's not a matter of um, you know going to the office and uh, getting told off and then told not to do again. It's straight to jail. Other characters in 2000 AD are Mac One was uh, based on my favorite TV program at the time, which was the Six Million Dollar Man. So it was a, a comic version of the Six Million Dollar Man, someone who um, well, in the in Six Million Dollar Man, he's given um, bionic legs and arms and he's really strong and he can see really far and all that sort of thing. Um, in Mac 1, he's given um, superpowers through uh, some sort of um, serum or something like that. He's injected with something and he's given all these superpowers. Other comics you'll find in my collection are Crazy Comic. Crazy Comic was a really funny comic. It was brilliant. Lots of really fantastic characters in it. And one of the characters then was given his own comic. His name was Cheeky. And uh, Cheeky Weekly was probably along with Plug Comic, who was a character out of the Beano. Those two comics were probably my favourite because they were really mad. They were really incredible. My all-time favourite comic was a comic called Warlord. And um, Warlord was a war comic. There was lots of war comics when I was little. Warlord was the code name for a secret agent whose real name was Peter Flint. And um, you could send away for uh, send away to be a Warlord secret agent. You got a wallet and you got a um, you got an identity card. You got a badge, which I still have. You ha you got a code book, um, and you could crack codes. And every week in the comic, there would be special coded messages that only the people who joined the club could decipher and find out what the secret missions were for that week um, and then Warlord then there was an, another comic come out called Bullet um, and in Bullet was a, a character called Fireball who was a bit like Batman and Robin um, he was um, someone who was brought up by Peter Flint Warlord and uh, he was trained to be a secret agent and uh, um, if you join if you joined the bullet club and um, you also got a, a special story telling you how he became a secret agent and what training he had to do and i always remember that one of the things that he had to do every single day when he got up in the morning was to he had to swim a whole lake uh, and that was part of his training to be a secret agent um, and you you know you got a, a pendant so 1970s so you got a pendant um, and you got a uh, code books and things like that as well if you join the bullet club so those were all absolute favorites of mine if you're in comic club and if you've been in comic club you'll see lots of those old comics in my collection so i want your, your task this week is to create a character and that character can be a funny character or that character can be, um, I don't know, could be anything. It could be a secret agent. It could be um, someone who is a superhero. 
but I want it based, I want the superhero, if you're doing a superhero or if you're doing any character, I want it based in Scotland. I don't want it based in America. I don't want it like the um, the superheroes or lots of the comics that, that are quite famous nowadays and the ones that, you know, lots of people read nowadays. I don't want them based in America. I want them based in Scotland. I want a good Scottish character either, if, you know, that character could be funny, a funny character or could be a serious character. Um, and you could make up, I want you to make up adventures uh, for that. Now, what I'm wanting to say is a comic strip with at least six panels. So that's six little pictures telling the story. I want to see speech bubbles. I want to see some of the, you know, directions as well in the in the story because sometimes there are words in the uh, in comics that aren't speech bubbles. They're directions telling telling you what's happened or what's happened in between panels and things like that. Um, I want a good title. If you've got colours, it would be great to have it coloured. Uh, so yeah, so that's your task. I want you to create a comic strip that is based in Scotland. It can be a funny character. It can be a serious character. It can be a superhero. It could be a war character. It could be um, just an ordinary uh, story of everyday people doing extraordinary things. Things that are going on at the moment uh, in Glasgow and in Scotland and in the UK and in the world at the moment. Just ordinary people doing extraordinary things um, to, you know, to do with coronavirus. Um, to do with Black Lives Matter and to do all with all of those things. So um, you, you could base it in, in kind of realities like that. Okay, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them. So deadline is next. I think next Monday is probably the best. So I look forward to seeing those. So cheerio from me and cheerio from Cody. See where this is past.